What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how to turn this into this. And first off, let me go back to the other Rubik's Cube. What you're going to need to know is that these are middles. You cannot move the middles at all. Um, these are corners with two two um, colors. And those, um, those you can move. And these are corners with three colors, okay? But you cannot move the middles. So you just pick a side any side you want. Um, this side is what I use, the green side. Since this is the green middle, it's going to be the green side. Um, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to find, you want to keep the green on top if you're using the green. And you just want to circle around and look for a color with another green. And it has to be a side. And side only has two colors. Well, here's a green. And if you look at it, it's orange. So you take the green and you twist to the bottom, but it's already at the bottom. And since the green's on the bottom, I mean, since the orange is on the bottom and not the green, it's going to be a little bit co more complicated to do. So um, you want to twist the orange until it's on the orange side, in line with the orange, and it's above, it's under the green and with the orange. So um, that would go right here with the green and the orange. So you just want to... Um, turn it, turn it this way, and then turn it this way, so it's in line, the green and the orange, and like, you could always pause the video, you can always skip it back if you don't get something, but, so for some reason this got with this too, and that's good because I can solve it faster, but <laughs> you just look for another green side. This is green, and it's with the yellow, so you keep the green on the top, you twist it to the yellow side, and then since the yellow's on the bottom, you twist it this way, twist it this way, and twist it this way. I'm sorry guys, I accidentally messed up. You don't do that algorithm. If it's on the bottom, um, um, uh, now I just gotta fix that. If it's on the bottom like this, you want to twist it to the you just want to twist it to the side you want to twist it to the side push this over then up and over so these don't mess up so let me just take the white bring it down over and this time since the green is on the bottom all i have to do is twist it up and it will be aligned just like that and so for the next part you just look for another one twist it to the bottom, twist the red to the red, and since the green's on the bottom, I just have to twist it up. Now for the last side, because we're making a cross, there's only one more, and that is right here. So it's the orange, twist it to the orange, and since it's on the bottom, this is what you do, guys. You twist it, you twist it this way, push this over, this up and this back over so now after you found after you figured that out you will notice that you have a cross and each side coming down will be aligned so this is the red yellow green uh, orange and white and it makes a cross so the next step is going to be between the corner okay guys um ah! sorry when i pushed the play button my phone kind of just fell <laughs> but anyways to do the corners, you just keep the green on the top. You look for a corner that has green on it. Oh, this one has a green on, on it. So this has a green, red, and yellow. So this is the red and yellow green piece. So you keep your finger on that, and you look for the yellow and red. So this is red, this is yellow, So and this is green. So it's red, yellow, and green. So it must go in here. So you take it. And you turn it until it's in the middle of red and yellow. And since it's facing you to the right, what you want to do is you just want to push it over, bring it down, push it back over, and push it up. So now, this is aligned with this. So, and you have the corner in. So you just look for another one. There's this one right here. <laughs> it's with the orange... And the white. 
So you push it over till it's with the orange and white. So it must go up here. So it's facing you again, so you push it over. Bring it down, push it back over, and push it up. So that's in line. So we have two corners in so far. So now what we do is we go and look for another one. This is the orange and yellow one. So we push it over till it's in the orange and yellow. And this one is a little different. It's not facing you this time. It's facing this way. So what you want to do is you want to turn the cube so it's facing you. And this time you want to push it this way. Bring it down. Push it over again. And bring it up. So now I have all the corners except for one. What you want? You want to look for it. Oh, this one's a little odd. It's on the bottom. So it's with the white and the red. Push it over to the white and the red. Now it's on the bottom. So what you want to do is this algorithm. Well, I'm not going to tell you guys the algorithm. You can look it up, but um, I'm just going to tell you how to turn it. I'm not going to tell you the actual algorithm. So you want to turn it down two times up over. So now it's facing over there, so you want to turn the cube, and then you want to push it over, down, back over, and up. Like I said guys, you can pause the video, rewind it, whatever you gotta, gotta do, but that's how you solve the corner. Okay guys, so for you, um, you might think, oh, well since we did the green side, we're gonna do the orange side or the white side. But no, we're not doing it like that, we're doing it with layers. So you see that this layer is done. They're all matching, all colors. It's completely done. So if it's like this or something, you should want to go to any side. This is the white side. You want to keep pushing it over to the whites aligned with it. So the red will be, the yellow will be, and the orange will be. So you just hold it like this. I always start on the white side, but um, it doesn't matter. We're going to be working on getting these pieces in. And Okay, so the first step into doing that is... You just want to remember, always keep the the color that you start off with. Mine's green. Always want to keep that on the top. So you search until, since the bottom is blue, um, you want to search the middles until there's one without yellow. So this is um, yellow and there's blue. So turn it. This is white and red. So this one doesn't have blue on it. So the top facing color facing you, um, you want to turn it until it's aligned with its own color. So it's aligned with it. Um, so the bottom color is red, and the red's over there. So you want to turn it away from the red, bring this down, back over, up, and then you can see that we misplaced this, and it's facing you. So you just want to do the same thing that we did to put it together. We push it over, down, push it back over, and up. So now this is aligned, and you can tell that um, this piece is in. So, you just want to do the same thing again. Look until in the middles until there's a color without it. Um, this one's white and orange. So, move it to white because white's facing you. And it's orange. So, move it away from the orange. Down. Back to the orange. Up. And then you put the corner back in by going over. Down. Over. And up. Okay, now you can see that we got the red one in. And the orange one in. But we still got all these to go. We got these two more to go. So we keep looking. Oh, this is the red and the yellow. So push it to the red because that one's facing you. And the yellow's right here. So push it away from the yellow. Bring this one down. Push it back to the yellow. Up. And then this corner's facing you. So you push it over, down, over, and up. So now that one's in place. So all we need is this one. But all of these are blue. And you can tell that this is the yellow and orange one, but it's it's in the yellow and orange one, but it's flipped. So what you want to do in this case is you just want to take any random one, like the white and blue one, and you just want to pretend like it's that one. So you pretend that this is the orange and this is the yellow. So push it away from the yellow, bring it down, back over, and up. Put the corner back in. And now you can see that you put the white and the blue in there, and you kicked this one out. So now you can push the orange to it. So what you want to do is align the orange with it, and the yellow is down here, and the yellow's right there. So push it away from the yellow, down, back to the yellow, up, turn the cube, 
push it over, down, align it, and up. So now you can see that we got all of this done. We got the whole two layers. We got this layer done and this layer done. So now what you want to do is we're going to work on the bottom one. So you just flip it over. So the green is now on the bottom and the orange, the, blah, 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 the blue is now at the top. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do with the, there's a lot of patterns that will show up with it. Like my Jackson just got this one. So don't be scared if um, you got a different one. There could be one with a blue here, here, and here. Like this. Um, there could be just a straight line. There could be one here, here, and here. Um, there could be just a cross, which we need. So it could end up with a cross. There could be like a square right here with one right here. There's a bunch of other ones. But right now, I got the blue, this one. And I'm just going to show you guys all the ones that you can get. So you can get this one where it's a little L shape in this dot. So for this one, um, you want to hold it like this, where the where it's this is pointing down, this is pointing to the right. So that's that one. You can get this one where it's a little Z shape, which in you want to hold it just like this. You can just you can get just a regular L, which you would just hold it like this, like I said last time. And you can just get the cross too, which you want. That's what you want to end up with. So, so there's one more that you can get, um, it's just three lines right here, so this is pretty much gone, and it's right here, so it's like a line, you want it like this, horizontal, so it's just straight in that case, but right now I have the L, so if you have the L, hold it like this, and you want to do this, you want to have it at the top, you want to turn this, push it up, over, down, back over, and turn it. So now I have a line with an L right here. You just want to, if you have this, you just want to forget about this. And you just want to hold it vert, uh, horizontal like this. And you want to do the same thing. Over, up, over, down, back over, and turn it. Now we have the cross. And our green is still fixed. All these are here. So this is what you want. So now, what we're going to work on doing is we're going to get this here. And this is going to be white, this is going to be orange, and this is going to be yellow. Um, so what you want to do right now is you want to keep twisting it until at least two are aligned. So right here, the red is aligned and the orange is aligned. That's what we want. But it, actually, we want the colors to be one right here and like one right here. So the yellow has to be here. Or the white and the orange, like that, it has to be like adjacent to each other. And um, so what we want to do for that is... You want to have, if you have this, then um, you hold it like they're on the sides and the wrong one is this and behind it. But if you have them adjacent to each other, then you can just, um, you can just wait a second. So you want to do this algorithm. Up, over twice, down, back over, up, back over, down, and back over. So now, if we keep turning it and turning it and we try and match something up, we get two that are adjacent to each other, the yellow and the red. So this is what we want, but we want to turn it. So this one's wrong, and this one's wrong right here. We want to hold it just like this and do the same thing. Up, over, twice, down, back over, up, back over, down, back over. And now you can see that we have all of these aligned. So if you have the green solved, these two layers solved, a cross at the top, and... All these middle lines, you're doing it right. Good job, people. Um, <clears throat> so now we're going to work on getting the corners where they need to be. This one's already right. So we just want to turn the cube with the blue on top and the green on bottom, looking for corners with um, that are in the right place. They don't necessarily have to be matched like this. Like, this could be turned, but it could still be right. So you just want, if you find a one... If you can't find one, then just do this algorithm, but if you find one, hold it on the right side of you, so like this, and you want to push this up, push it over, this up, push that over, down, back over, down, and push it over, and now you can see that nothing changed, so you want to do it again, up, over, up, over, down, over, back over, and down. So now you can see that this is aligned, and this is aligned, and these two are in their spot, see the orange, yellow, and blue is with the orange yellow and blue and the orange blue and white is with the orange blue and white they're just not twisted so that's what we want to do now so if you have three 
three like this but um they're not turned then that's fine too you just want to hold it like this so the third one's right there um but if you have like this if you have them all it doesn't matter how you hold it but if you have just two hold it on the left side if you have three hold it on the left side anyways and do this algorithm it's a long algorithm but it's the last algorithm we need to know i'm going to go up over twice down back over up back over down then you want to go over here up over twice down over up over down and then you have a solved rubik's cube if they were both on the side like this like hold on right now i have the orange side but um if they were like this pretend um that so if the two if this was the blue side and these two were blue right here then that means you only have to do it once but if they're both like that and like this that means you have to do it twice so don't be scared if you do it once and it's not in line you just do it twice so up over twice down over up over down up over twice down over up over down see it still didn't do it but you do it one more time up over twice down over up over down up over twice back over up like that so then you have solved rubik's cube if you like this video please subscribe comment like share and i will see you guys next time